Well, hello everybody, welcome back to our wonderful reaction series of Code Gears. Wonderful for you all to come back and, and watch, thank you very much. Uh, so today we are picking up where we left off, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, end of the last episode, the, the assault on the island and, you know, the revelation, I suppose, that, the uh, you know, I've had time to think about it. And genuinely, I do think that Lucius is, I, I can't decide whether or not he's been just ridiculously egotistical saying no I must be the one to liberate them so not accepting you know outside help um, or if he is you know just being genuine in his desire just to liberate Japan because he's like oh what you know we're going to make Japan free even though you know Britannia owns a third of the world so it's definitely interesting to see how we further progress down this um, this field and of course, we still haven't really seen any uh, fallout from the fact that, you know, Callan and Suzaku, they both know each other. So, uh, I mean, I'm curious as to how this is going to play out. It's going to be fun. Uh, so let's keep going. And um, thank you, as always, for watching, guys. If you do enjoy this or you are new, please hit that like and that subscribe. Help us out with the algorithm. And uh, I would very much appreciate that. So, let's get to the video. All right, stage 21, the school festival declaration. He's <laughs> only got two students. It's just like a loose. Oh, or is this um, detention? Yeah, got to be some kind of detention. Ah, so this is displaying the difference, the different appearance. It's crazy looking at that, how, how tall those uh, nightmares are. Why? <laughs> Who has a dream to be a bureaucrat? What? I just like saying, oh, I have a dream to be a, a, a politician. Oh shit, I totally forgot about her. Um, I, I've missed something. D d d she goes, meow, and everybody goes, yeah. Uh, it's a nice bit of cosplay there within the 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 the, the series. Sounds like they're planning for a big operation. Is this obviously where uh, he's going to express to the? The elevens that um, he wants them to become Japan again. <laughs> Twelve meter pizza, bloody hell! I'm sorry, but if she is Britannian, then she's not going to have the appearance of an eleven, is she? And maybe someone's going to recognise her. Or Lelouch, especially. We I mean, can't, because, you know, she's seen, she knows who you are. She knows where you have. <laughs> He's falling in love with her. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I guess they're like token trophies or something like that. Um. Oh, right, I, just, I thought that was loose. I just, hmm. Interesting. It's, just, it's so intriguing, obviously, because he knows who Canon is, but he doesn't know that them two know who each other are. And then he. <laughs> what the f. <laughs> And that he doesn't know who Lelouch is, and neither does her. So it's just like a weird, like, mix here. What a fun job. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's specifically aiming for him. <laughs> mm, these guys look serious. Look at those face masks, man. But she's lost to Lelouch. <laughs> Dude, that is your sister. Although I suppose, you know, olden times, that is what happened, especially with the ancient Egyptians. Uh, who's that? I, 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 I'm feeling that that's someone we've already seen, but I've forgotten. <laughs> I love how he's put them both together. I have a school festival to run and a coup d'etat. Oh, Lelouch is going to recognize her, though, isn't he? Friend. No. I must admit, it's a lot nicer to record these videos now that the heatwave's passed. <laughs> I'm sweating my backside off. So like, this is supposed to be like a restricted area and everyone just keeps coming in. <laughs> oh, she he doesn't know that that's a general then. Or he just hasn't seen her face. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Just stands there screaming. Uh, how can she cutting one little thing create all of this devastation? What? <laughs> oh, the cat just keeps turning up in random spots and situations. Hmm. Oh yes, what were you going to say, huh? huh? Mm, so obviously now she's realizing that she doesn't know that he's zero. He's the showman, isn't he? He's like the greatest showman. A fabulous waste of money. Love it. Back to planning his revolution. Mm, oh, is she is she slowly coming round to Suzuku's way of thinking? That would be interesting. Is he gay? Is he gay? Or is he just like is he like Sheldon from Big Bang Theory? He just has no interest in it. Uh-oh. Oh, and there goes the hat to reveal who she truly is. Because, you know, the hat provides so much cover. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like a fake mask. Oh, my God. Let's take off the hat. And now everybody can see who she is. <laughs> a bit ridiculous, I think. Well, that's going to be a bitch to clean up. Oh, poor Cece. She wanted some pizza. Oh. I don't really think two people are going to stop the horde. <laughs> um. What? The hell? I mean, that would have been a great place to end the episode. Oh, she's in love with Suzaku. Hmm. 
Uh oh, what's she gonna announce? Uh, that she's gonna marry? Oh dear. This is not going to go down well. Oh, especially with Cornelia now, if they're all sort of helping her. How are you going to get out of this? <laughs> oh, he's angry. He's pissed. Look at him. He is pissed. Man, he is not a happy boy, is he? It's very smart. Um, by by Euphemia, because she knows that you know, Lelouch is very rich, Zero's very reason for existing is, you know, these terrorist actions and to bring, you know, an independent Japan, and she's just obviously offered him that. It's very small, uh, but it's definitely probably going to break up the Black Knights and, you know, the General and, uh, what's his name, Owen? The, the, my God, I can never remember his name. The guy who found the, the general, who I can't remember, no, I'm just terrible with names. But I think them two are going to go to this zone. I think they're going to break away. But I mean, for me, I think the biggest revelation there was that the maid is working for Dietrich. So is she like, because she's obviously an 11, is she spying for the Britannian government? Or is she just simply working for Dietrich or trying to get away to zero? Maybe zero forced, you know, maybe zero's actions caused the death of someone. Uh, I don't know. But it was an interesting revelation, I must say. Um, unless it's already been revealed before and I, <laughs> and I completely missed it. Which, you know, is possible as well. It's plausible. I do forget things. Um, but yeah, very interesting. I really, really enjoyed that. that was a, it was a nice episode, nice pace to it. And as always, you know, had the first like 15 minutes, you know, nothing really happening, too much happening. A uh, bit of fun, comic, comedic elements in there, and then all of a sudden the last five minutes, a few, poof, 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 as always. So. Yeah, um, it'd be interesting to see how this goes forward, and uh, how Lelouch slash Zero is sort of going to work around this situation. Um, so yeah, well thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed this, if you have, hit that like, hit that subscribe, help us out with the algorithm, it would be very much appreciated, and um, thank you very much, and so all that's left is to say goodbye, see you next time guys.